Welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to take a look at a bit of a hidden gem in the waste management update. And this is down in this corner here. It says transfer to big garbage con containers. There's a small version and a large version. And I have to admit, when I first saw this, I thought, is this really going to be worth the effort with moving around garbage? And just to show you what they look like, you've got this one here and you can see it's just got a 97 ton capacity but it's all stored in the six and a half ton containers the idea behind this uh, process is that the small uh, garbage trucks give um deliver the goods to it and which is then transferred into the large containers which can then be picked up by the truck so just to show you if we come into here and we buy uh, some small waste trucks about four of them and we're having here we're gonna have to pick up from the border we'll just pick up mixed waste come in here deliver i'm gonna set this at say 50 percent just to show a little bit of realism because these trucks are there and then you can just unload mixed waste in fact they don't actually even have to have that there so we'll just let him go and then we're Get two of those trucks going uh so uh the second one on line spacing in and what we'll get is two of those trucks going running out that way and what you can do is come into here i'm just going to buy one truck in here we're going to buy one of the big ones just put that in there and your job is going to be to pick up anything from this post into and then deliver it to the customs post so what we ha should have now it's going to take a little while because the loading speed in the customs shed is pretty dire and so what i'm going to do is just let the let it run and i'll show you what happens when the, the we finally get deliveries to this small building so here we are we just got the truck arriving He's got four tons of uh, uh, mixed waste on board. So if we just watch him, he will come in. But what you'll see now is the second truck is coming in right behind. But because this has only got one unloading slot, he's queued up. And what you can see there, and when this container fills up, what that should do is trigger this guy. And then he will come and actually just deliver there. You can see the potential straight away with one unloading slot. And you can see what he does is he just picks up a full load of 6.5 tons. He left 1.4. I think he might have caught the... Oh, there was a bit of an overflow probably into this one. So he's picked up 6.5 tons and gone away. So you can see this This is really good. Um, probably the best way is to man imagine the scenario that you've got a, a, large, quite a small or reasonable sized urban area with these small trucks going around picking up uh, uh, waste and then and the say you're shipping it to the customs post but it's say a kilometer away you don't want your main trucks picking up around the domestic area wandering off across the map so what this does is it concentrates it into six and a half ton loads and then you can have a distribution office that can then pick them up there and then take it to the border or wherever you want to do it now another thing i want to show you is if we come into here I click on there this time we'll put hazardous waste on on it and we'll just kick you we'll just let you take a full load and then we'll also set this one up and what we're going to have uh, say metallic scrap put you in there and then we we'll get these going again if we watch this now what you will see is these trucks coming in dropping off a a little bit of a load there he's just dropped off his um five um, tons and this time we'll watch the second truck come in you'll see the overflow go out to the next container you can see it we've got um 2.9 tons in there this guy will load and pick up that but one thing I have noticed is you won't trigger the distribution office until they've got six and a half tons of load in there. So so you cut so the 
the, the big trucks won't come in for a part load. They will. They always expect a large load. But we just let this run now with the other trucks come in, and I'll I'll come back as and when those actually do a delivery as well. But welcome back. What we've got now is we've got this guy coming in with metal scrap. This one's just coming in to make the hazardous drop off. And what we've got now is if you watch. This guy's dropping off hazardous waste. And you can see, because we haven't selected a specific waste type, what you can get is you can drop off a uh, thing. This is metallic scrap here. And I think this is now given a fairly good example because we got more waste there of the fact that you could get this um, building very congested very, very quickly. So he's just picked up uh, most of the mixed waste. He's going to get another delivery of mixed waste now. So in a way, if, as long as you've got the trucks dropping off, because it won't sort it, but what it will do is you can put the different types of waste into these areas. Now, so what's the solution to the congestion? Well, the solution to the congestion is up here. So what I've done here is I've set up a large transfer office here and a cargo station for one for in, one for out. So what I'm going to do is we're going to put you onto there. As a pickup, we'll let you pick up anything you want coming in. And then what I'm going to do now is we're going to shift these trucks up to there as an unload. You've got this mixed waste, isn't it? So what we've got now is multiple trucks which will start delivering into here. And what you will see is the truck will go into here. And it'd be exactly the same as the small one. We've got hazardous waste coming into here. Now, now we've got mixed waste coming in. And that will trigger this guy who will quite heroically try to keep up with what's being delivered now. So this is by far the best solution because we've got four drop off points there. We can have four pickup points. And if you want to make sure everything goes correctly, because sometimes you may get things a bit confused. What you can do is come into here, make that one way, that way. So you can direct the flow through there. Now, just to show you the fact that uh, this isn't just something that you can pick up from the border. I've got a technical office here. Well, I'll just show you one other thing first. What we'll do is we'll set this to um, just uh, uh, hazardous waste. Now, if you click on the technical office here, if I click onto here, you can see it will set everything to this office because it's got mixed waste in here. But it really, this is only for hazardous waste. So this is one of the problems you can have with these offices is the fact that if you've got something in there, it would do everything. But what we can do is to there, hazardous, no, we'll leave the hazardous waste on to that one. Um, plastic waste and you can literally go up and set everything their metal scrap even the construction if you wanted to so what that means is that any small garbage trucks even big large garbage trucks as well uh just to show you that if i buy a large garbage truck the, the game doesn't seem to distinguish if we get you there and say you go to the border and what you're gonna what are you gonna have oh we'll put some construction waste in there as well and go that way and what you'll see is that this will quite happily receive the output from a large truck it, what it does is it just basically fills up one so i'm just going to wait for that to happen and to show you what that's going to be like and i'll be right back plus these trucks actually load a bit quicker but if we come in here now let him come in here you see we've now got construction waste in here and all literally all he's done by delivering to this terminal is filled up one container so there isn't a risk although it's technically small trucks like this filling up um transferring to large ones large ones can transfer to large ones and you can see this one's just filling up again i don't know if it's going to overflow yes yeah, overflow to smidge so this is very much a hidden gem of a building as long once you get your head around how it actually works and remember that you you to make it go efficiently you do need this setup don't just place them individually because even this one's only got two 
um, loading and offloading slots. There's just not enough slots for these to work efficiently without support of a cargo station. I mean, there's nothing to say that you just can't run with one if you've got enough capacity. But if you're bearing in mind that, if, especially if you've got the waste coming in from a, a large city that where you may have as a whole, uh, say, say, for example, you've got, say you've got something like that. I know they're not going to go and do anything, but say you've got eight of these trucks running around collecting all sorts of garbage. Even four might be a bit of a stretch. So you may need both sides. So you may even need bigger cargo offices to actually make this run efficiently. But the way I see this is that say you've got a town where you've got these trucks out collecting rubbish and you want to onward ship the, the waste to another point, say for reprocessing or something like this, rather than having lots of these trucks running around the map and going a long way away from where they're meant to be working, you can get control over the delivery process. So you can then use larger trucks to under the control of a distribution office. So of course the distribution office will only respond if, if wherever the load is. And of course you can customize the distribution office as well to say, um, only pick up uh, say the hazardous waste and then send it to another location. Say you, say you want to process it or, or if say you need stuff to go to a separation plant you can actually use this to divert the flow of your traffic. And again, that has the effect of taking the pressure off of, uh, say, uh, an incinerator or a separation plant or a, what they call it, I can't remember what it's called now, uh, waste treatment plant. This, this is the reason why I'm saying this is a hidden gem in the game. And I'll be completely upfront. I, I, I didn't really understand how this worked before I, when I start, before I started putting together my waste treatment system in my um, Free River Valley series. Now I'm going to need a complete rethink. It's also worth noting that if, if you've got a customs post here, um, one thing is you don't want loads and loads of these trucks dropping off in the customs post. So set, setting this arrangement up early in the game will certainly reduce the amount of traffic that you've got flowing into your customs post as well. So I don't want this video to be too long. Hope you hope you found the video interesting. Any comments, uh, additional feedback, feel free to chuck it in the video description. But until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.